After years of doing notes, I discovered that they are a total waste of time. And having not taken a single note in over 18 months of medical school, my grades have massively improved. I have more time for the things I enjoy in life. And on top of all of that, I remember more. And you might ask, how? Well, let me show you my zero note system that I use to remember and learn everything at medical school. Hi, my name is Abadi and I am a second year medical student in London. And like 99% of students, I used to make notes on everything. I used to have textbooks filled with highlights, pages and pages of notes. And it didn't really help me at all. I felt really demotivated at the end. I didn't feel like I learned anything. There was a lot of information to review when exam time came. So I was like, is this even effective? In fact, numerous scientific articles have shown that it is ineffective. Writing notes, highlight Highlighting and rereading are one of the most ineffective methods of studying. But why do we all do it? Why does everyone, nearly every student, take notes? Well, this is due to a bias that is known as the bandwagon effect. And it is the tendency to do things because other people are doing it. It makes us feel that we are on the right side because there are a lot of people doing it. Therefore, it must be correct. This is a bias. So we need to overcome this bias that taking notes is not good for us. Well, you might say, what's the big problem with taking notes, Abadi? I don't get it. Well, let's unpack this. Making notes is a passive way of learning. Think about it. When you go to a lecture, every word that the lecturer says, you write down everything. But have you really understood the material you are writing down? You are acting as a conduit, meaning you are transferring information from one source to another without actually internalizing the message. Wow, yeah. It's like you're a messenger bird tasked with taking a letter from one palace to another. Does the bird gain any insight on what is in the letter? No, he simply takes it from one place to another. And when you are taking notes, you are doing exactly the same as the messenger bird. You are taking information from one place and putting it in another. So you're not really understanding the information. So what's the solution? Well, I have created a system that will allow you to remember and learn everything in medical school. Understand, assess and retrieve. To understand, what do I mean by understand? Well, you want to start by looking very superficially at the lecture you want to learn. That is, look at the general idea of the lecture, Google any terms that you don't understand very quickly, just to get the hangs of it. And this is to not overwhelm your brain when you start studying. If I tell you, okay, here is the oncogenetics of how this, well, wow, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. Let's take it slowly, nice and easy, okay. Having done that, you move into what? Starting to really understand what the material is actually saying. Without taking any notes, you want to explore as as many sources as you can. Meaning, you read textbooks, right? You go on YouTube, and for me, I personally go on YouTube, and I watch three or four different videos explaining the same thing. This will allow me to see many different angles of the same topic. So you can watch Osmosis, you can watch Ninja Nerd, you can watch JG Medicine, you can watch Zero to Finals. There are tons of channels on YouTube that are free and explain it, sorry, far better than most of your lecturers. And for this to be effective, you have to ask questions. And we ran into another problem, so who will answer my questions? Well, ChatGPT will answer your questions. And you go on ChatGPT and you ask it to explain any questions that you might have. And the good thing with ChatGPT is you can tell it to explain it very simply. It can summarize information for you. It can give you analogies. It will allow you to clear all your confusions. So just to summarize the understanding step, you skim first, you understand the information from various sources in YouTube videos, and you ask ChatGPT to clear any confusions. If you feel like you have a good understanding of the topic, you move on to step two. And this is where the true magic begins. Assess. Assess your understanding. Actively recall this information. Meaning, there are two steps for this. Number one is the infamous Feynman technique. You pretend to explain the concept to a patient or to a student very simply. So you break down this complex terminology and you walk them through this whole thing. So you're acting as the teacher. This will allow you to see how your thoughts flow and how coherent your logic and understanding is. And if you do that, you can then move on to the second step and that is using Anki and flashcards. Anki is a free digital flashcard platform that allows you to make many different flashcards from the topics you learn. You might tell me, oh, buddy, I don't wanna make any flashcards, it takes so much time. Well, I have the solution for you. Lucky enough for you, there are people who made thousands and thousands of flashcards on every topic in medicine and they have made it into one pre-made deck. That deck is known as Anki and you can find it online using a tutorial how to download it and install it on Anki and you can cherry pick based on the topics that you study. Second way is making your own flashcards and if you are confused how to make flashcards I made a video on the perfect flashcard formula linked here. 
But before you go, let's finish this video. Final step is retrieve. Try to do as many practice questions as you can. And you will want to do your flashcards every single day. If you can't do them every single day, at least don't let them back up and finish them every couple of days, every few days, okay? So that way you remember all the information that you study and you understand it very well. So just to summarize all the steps that we talked about, let's say you wanna start a new lecture. You skim the material, you skim the lecture, and you look for any words that you don't understand and quickly Google them just to see the hangs of it. Then you want to start by understanding the information deeply by doing two things, by looking at many different sources on YouTube, and if you have any questions, clear them up on ChatGPT. Then you fill the gaps to see if you missed anything from the lecture. You then want to assess your information by using the Feynman technique and making flashcards. Finally, you retrieve the information by, by doing your flashcards every single day and also doing some practice questions. And that is much more effective than simply sitting down, writing down notes, and then going to the exam and reading all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, if you find studying incredibly boring and you want to turn it into a video game, watch my video linked here. And that wraps up our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, Assalamu Alaikum.